Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today we are going to figure out how to get you someone to blurb for your book, because blurbing is now a verb, because I think it was just a noun, like, I need a blurb for my book, but now it's like, do you blurb? Are you a blurber? So we're gonna we're gonna blurber. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Oh, I got that. The easiest way to get somebody to write a blurb for your book is just to fucking ask them. Like, hey, can I get a little blurb for my book for me? Like that's like seriously how if if you don't have a publisher like doing this for you, the easiest way to do it is just to ask. You know. There, I guess there are ways to do it. If you have any kind of relationship with the person you're asking, then it shouldn't be weird, you know? Um, but if, like, you don't know that person very well, you, you just got to ask. But I think there are ways to do it to where it's not weird and um, that it does something for the person you're asking. So for instance, um, let me see, what, what's a good way to do this? We'll, we'll get to that one at the end. But what I wanna talk about first is, uh, what the fuck? One of the coolest one of these I ever received was, I got an email from somebody who was like, hey, my new book is coming out by this publisher soon. I'm really excited about it. And right now I'm looking for people to um, either review it. Uh, what, what did he want? He wanted either reviews, um, blurbs, or even an introduction. And the way he wrote the email, he had it just set up where it was like, just letting you know, like, hey, I'm really excited that my book's coming out. Um, these are some things I need. I either need people to like write reviews or do video reviews of my book. Um, or if you would be interested in writing a blurb, the blurb needs to be this long, um, blah, 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 blah. And then, um, or you could write the introduction and um, the introduction needs to be this long, blah, blah. And just like little things like that. And then the, um, what do you call it? The PDF of the book um, was like attached to the email. So this was cool because it was like, hey, you can do any of these things if you want to do it. And if you don't want to do any of this, well, you now have a free copy of the book. Now, some people might be like, but that wasn't very personal. It wasn't very personal. But because it wasn't very personal, I didn't feel like I was letting anyone down if I didn't want to do anything, if that makes sense. It was um, distant enough that I didn't feel like by saying no, I was hurting this guy's feelings. I ended up saying yes, but that's besides the point. But if I wanted to say no, like it, I wouldn't have felt like I was hurting this dude's feelings. Um, but the thing that I would say you need to do and w what I think if this guy would have done it that I was just talking about, he would have probably got way bigger results is if in that email it also said, and you know, let me know if there's anything I can do with you, do for you when your book comes out, because you know we got to help each other out. You know, like I'll do whatever for you that you need. Just let me know. We're a community here. Let's do this together. We got this. Something like that. 
it's really, really important, especially if you are asking someone who you perceive is like above you in the pecking order, if you offer them something that they might need and like put down the things that you know you can do. Like if you need like artwork done, if you need um, like social media banners done, like whatever, whatever you can bring to the table, like offer to do something for somebody as well. It's just that a nice thing to do, okay? If someone's going to take the time to do something for you, offer whatever your skills are for in return for that. You know what I'm saying? Another thing to do that might just butter up the whole wheels here if you if you know you're going to hit somebody up to ask them to write a blurb for your book maybe the week before you ask them like if you are a fan of this person's work which you should be if you're asking them to fucking do a blurb for you um like do a post on social media or something about one of their books and tag them in it so at least it's in the front of their mind that, oh, wait, this person, yeah, they just posted that thing about my book that was really awesome and nice and made me feel really good inside. Like something like that. Because, like, we're not asking people to reinvent the wheel. We're just asking for a blurb. You know what I'm saying? And the blurb doesn't have to be that long. It could just be, this is a book. Sorted. Name. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so those are just some little easy tips to help you get a blurb for whatever you're doing. And the other thing I was going to say, don't ever think your book is too small to get a blurb. Like, we need all the help we can get to sell more fucking books. You know what I'm saying? So even if it's just like an ebook or a chat book or something like that. If you want to get a blurb for that book, get a fucking blurb for that book. Because it's only going to help. You know what I'm saying? Help! Type part, everybody. Join the crew and you can come to live streams every day with members. Isn't that exciting? And then that Discord that I'm eventually going to get going. Wow, this looks fake. And um, then I will just talk to you all. Oh, yeah. Go get Extra Extra and all my other books on Etsy while you still can. Get other ebooks and stuff over on Amazon, and I will talk to you all later.